Hi YouTubers, it's Bob Curry again at SES Lock Picking and Survival. Today we're going to carry on and do the five lever curtained lock. This lock is, is not really standard, yeah, but a lot of houses have got these fitted, many, many houses. Um, once they realised that um, three lever locks weren't good enough, the insurance companies insisted on a five lever lock and this was the type of thing they fitted. Okay, it's quite simple. The key's got seven steps on as opposed to the last one that had five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But there's five levers in the lock. What's, what's um, just been introduced now um, in your lock picking is this curtain, this new bit of kit. What that's designed to do is prevent a two-in-one pick operating. So what's inside the lock? First thing about this lock is the, the bolt is reversible, the latch. There's a little screw on the outside. We can undo that screw. I'll do this quickly, because we don't get much time on these videos. You pull that out and reverse it. Now, you'll find this on most of the modern locks, the SAS locks, which this one is. They've got this device on them. It saves DIYers and chippies taking the cap off and having a major explosion. Let's have a look what's inside the lock. You undo the cap screws. One, two and let's see what's in there. Right inside we've got, first of all the action at the top, it's, the action's completely different to what you've seen up till now because it's got the screw in there for reversing the latch. What you've got down here is a follower, and it's a single action or one way follow, it's only got one horn. There's a follow spring and guide and a bolt spring. Down below we've got the dead bolt, this is the head of the bolt, that's the tail. This is called a pivot post. The hole in the lever is called the eye that sits over it and there's the lever spring. We've got the front pocket here, the gate in the rear pocket, the lever face, the bar, and the bolt stump. This is what locks the lock. Then we've got this curtain here and the curtain spring. What the curtain's there for is to stop the two-in-one pick opening, opening the lock, but also it throws and retracts the bolt. Okay, let's strip the lock down. First of all, when you lay your, your, your key out for stripping, always lay it out flat so the, the bow of the key, that part, is facing your right. So the first lever out comes in front of you, and then they work away from you. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, there they go. And we'll take the curtain out and the curtain spring, and we'll take the bolt out. To remove the action, we take that out, pull the follower out, take the follower spring and guide out, and the action itself. There it is, the lock is stripped. Now, how does this work? If we look at our key here, we look at our key, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. We only use one, two, three, four, five. These two sit in the curtain out of the way. So what we've got is number five and number three, most of the time, there are a couple of exceptions, will be a pair. So there'll be a pair of levers. So they'll be the same height. So when we um, if we want to do a lever pack change with these, the first thing we do is find a pair, number five and three, and we follow the rest from there. And if we look at the levers, that's five, four, three, two, one, five and three are the pair. Let's put the lock back together and put the action back in. Throw it, we always throw everything. Put the horn in under there. I'll just put my hand in there to get it in. Sometimes it can be fun. Round it goes. Got it, push it forward, put the bolt spring in here, and put that down there. And then the dead bolt, that goes in. The curtain spring, it almost went in back to front. So have a quick look at the curtain. What you've got here is the key goes in the curtain and only the five, only five steps are exposed. Position one, two, three, four, and five. Six and seven are in the curtain. The bottom part of the key, this part here, turns the curtain, that bit. So that turns it, okay? But the curtain, the back of the curtain, the bolt throwing part, engages in the, the bolt on the, uh, the, the talon on the bolt and throws and retracts. So I put this back in, put that down there. Yeah, and from the top, it's fifth position, fourth, third, second, and then finally the one next to the bow, the first position. I say positions, not heights, because they might not be heights, one or whatever.
cap goes on, push the cap in tight, hold it with the thumb, don't put the screws in, and throw it. If you put your screws in, you got it wrong, it ain't gonna work. Okay, we're ready to go. Right, what we're gonna do now is look at opening the lock. Now it's quite straightforward with this. When we open one of these locks, we use a tool that I designed yeah, back in the day. It's called a curtain pick. This set here, all right? This is de designed by me initially and um, made by a surgical instrument company. This is about the Mark III now that has been produced. But it's basically a two-in-one pick without a top on, yeah? And a wire that can move around. It's not, in, it's not in a tube, so you can move it around. On the end, you've got your bolt thrower and there you've got your lever lifter. It's cut away. Now, what's the unique thing about this? It can do that. It can go right over and get under the levers. It might have problem with a low lift, like a number seven, eight or nine. It might have problems with, but you can get around that with practice. But this is the best sort of tool for it. Yes, there are a lot of copies of this and there are a lot of different prices for them. This one, I believe, is about 200 pounds, but you get what you pay for. This is all made of stainless and this will work. Right then, we've taken the tool out that we need. You get two different tools in here. You get a five gauge and a seven. I'll just get the seven out here. The seven is much narrower. Looking at that keyway, it's a five gauge, so it needs the wider tool. We've got a, a little um, tensioner that goes inside, clips in. Now, with these, you get an L tool, an L wire that bends over to the left in this case. We've got them in the box which bend to the right. If the bolt shoots to the right, we use the right bend. If it shoots to the left, we use the left bend. It pushes into the handle and does up with a grub screw on the top there. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. It's a simple tool. It's a basic two-in-one pick. Right, how do we open the lock? Bolt is shot, it's locked. We put the tool in upside down. Now we push it to the back of the lock and it's jammed. That tells me it's sticking out the back through the curtain. So I move it forward a little bit till it turns. There it's turned. So I know it's just inside the lock now. Then I put the L tool in underneath the wire and lift the thing round. Push it as far forward as I can. I've still got movement. Yep. Now I put my finger flat on the top. Keep it fairly central. Start number five to one. This is how I work. And I just lift them up like this start lifting towards me and you will get a clunk there's the first one that's two two in keep going three in that's in when it does that it's in gate four in should all be in now oh yeah they're all there so something's slightly over lifted now that one's in, that's in, that's in, that's in. There, there's an overlift there, so something, there it goes. Now what I did there, I eased off the tension slightly and put the tension back on and it did it. Okay, quite simple. Remember the patron saint of locksmith, Percy, perseverance, keep at it. Okay then, so you saw that open. This is the tool I use. It's the um, curtain lock pick, yeah, um, which means curtain as in curtain in the lock. There are variations of it out there, but believe me, you get what you pay for. This is quality. This is stainless steel. So there's no problem there. Remember, I run courses. I run two day courses at my workshops here in Hereford, where you can do a day's pin tumbler picking and a day's lever lock picking, including this and including British Standard. And we use some of the Gucci tools as well that I'm going to show you in later videos so you'll really know what you're doing before you come out of here, before you come away from me. And I'm always on the phone, so if you want any help or advice, come and see me. I'm going to be running other courses. Um, as I said, I'll do bushcraft as well, and I'm building up to that now, and I'll be going out in the woods and I'm showing you how to do it. I'm not talking about lighting fires and what's the best knife. We're talking about how to hide in the woods, how special forces do it. Yeah, that's where I have my training, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. In the meantime, bit of pushing here. If you want to buy my book off Amazon, The Psychic Soldier, because I also do psychic readings as well, something I didn't know I could do until I left the military, but I'd always had an inkling something was going on, but I didn't really realise what it was until I met the right people. 
I've written a book on it. It covers all my life from childhood right up to the present day. It covers um, SES selection. It covers um, the Iranian embassy, which I was involved in. And it also covers the Falklands War, which I was involved in as well, and various other things. So this book's available on Amazon and Kindle downloads. So grab yourself a copy, find out more about it. Get hold of me. Um, the details are on the bottom of this page and um, come up to Hereford, you'll be most welcome. All courses include B&B accommodation, so we'll look after you while you're here and I guarantee you some good eating houses here. Uh, not for me, because I'm Mr Slim, but uh, you can enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm Bob Curry, this is SES Lockpicking and Survival. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.